Listen up, people. We just passed the Golden Gate. We'll be on site in less than 20. So you got 10 to secure the rest of that gear and get yourself strapped in for a landing. Repeat. 10 minutes until lockdown, people! That's an unacceptable response. Must I remind you who I am? What the hell is this? I don't care what your protocol is. You're here to help me. So that's what I want you to You're do. You're dismissed, Private. What's the problem, Von Bach? You better get your men in line, Captain Grant. I want my equipment out of storage. My Ark Hunters and I depart as soon as we land. The Earth Republic is in a limousine service. Your gear's locked up, and we don't have time to dig it out. Now, please, find your seat. No offense, Captain, but I think your orders were to do as I ask. My orders come from my superiors. People in Manhattan wearing uniforms, like this. And those orders are to keep you safe while you locate your alleged Arctech. Alleged Arctech? There is no alleged, Captain. Do you see this? With this Arc core and the rest of the technology that I'll find in the Bay Area, I will repair this world. And be its hero, of course. You're in a restricted area. Get to your seat. If anything happens to my gear, I'll send the bill to your superiors. What an asshole. Let's move, people! Time's ticking! What is this, a dorm room? Everyone, get to your seats! You two, let's go! No problem, Captain. You too! Now, Ark Hunter. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. We land in ten. 
Strap in! I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to... What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge! I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation could be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Relax. It's just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Brace yourself, Cass. This could be real bad. Okay. Uh, which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Uh, nice. Holy stucco! You're alive! Name's Cass Dukar. I saw you land. Well, maybe that's not the right word. It was more smashing into the ground than landing. I sort of expected you to be a bowl of soup in there. Um, what are you doing? Whoa, are you okay? Do you need help? 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 Can you hear me? You need to sit down. Here, sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. I'm gonna go see if anyone else needs help. Oh, you might want to arm yourself a bit more. The locals aren't known for their charm. Hello. Oh, good. You can hear me now. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. I'm the Environmental Guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Ego. Please forgive me. I'm having some trouble getting all the behaviors activated, so we might experience a few hitches at the beginning. But I'll sort it out. We have lots to go over, so we should start. We need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first, we'll need to gear up. Von Buck Industries had personal defense technologies aboard the Strato Carrier. I've placed a marker on our map where we'll find some. Excellent! Once you equip that, it will allow me to activate the shield. The shields are running. We're going to need another weapon option. I'm picking up a signal from a crashed mobile armory. Let's hurry. We need to collect the necessary equipment as soon as possible so we can start looking for Mr. Von Bach. According to my readings, those creatures are actually humans. However, their DNA is severely mutated.
Assault rifles excel at medium-range combat, but are capable of maintaining much of their effectiveness over long distances, too. Particular weapon types work better for specific situations, so you'll want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. I'm detecting some explosives nearby. We could definitely use those. I've put the location on the map. This supply pod is filled with grenades. Grab one and equip it. I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. First, we'll try cloak. While using Cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projections and attack. <laughs> cloak must be activated to sneak behind the projections and attack. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. The projection shields are too powerful. Use the overcharge power to break- Projection shields are too powerful. Use the overcharge power to break them. I'll enable the decoy power now. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will fool and distract the enemy. Fight! Take down the projections while they're distracted by your decoy. <laughs> The Blur power is now enabled. Blur will allow us to move at extreme speeds and increases melee strength during close combat. With Blur active, rush the projections and strike them with melee attacks. Good work! You'll need to choose an Ego power for me to integrate. Nice choice. Stealth is the best power for surprise and subtlety. I'm receiving a signal. I'll patch it through. Can anyone hear me? I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. No, we better help her.
Most computer systems. Get to that uh -huh. reactor, and I'll see what I can do. You will not. Uh -huh. Excellent. I was able to reactivate the fissile materials. The reactor will overload and blow this entire base off the map. But we need to keep the mutants from disrupting the process. Thanks. You have an ego implant, don't you? That's amazing. First time I've ever seen one in action. You know, I think we're gonna make one hell of a team. A little backup can take you a long way in this crazy place. I'm heading to the crash site. They're gonna need help. I'm sure we'll be in contact. Ark Hunter. Find out if Mr. Von Bach survived. I'm picking up signals from a couple nearby evac seats. Fingers crossed that one of them belongs to Mr. Von Bach. My systems have reached a threshold where upgrades have become available. You may now spend an ego unit.
This evac seat is empty. I hope whoever was in there is still alive, somewhere. I'm experiencing a lot of interference. Get to an open area so I can scan the valley. lucky to be alive. The crash is horrifying. This person didn't make it out alive. I'm detecting a fading ego signal, which means this must have been a fellow Ark Hunter. I'm receiving several Vombach industry signals. One of them has to be him. Let's hurry and check them out. This expedition is in serious jeopardy if we fail to find Mr. Von Bach. He's the only one with the knowledge to unlock the secrets of the Ark Corps. This is not Mr. Von Bach's body. This is a tragedy. I'm estimating the death count to be at least 300. This is a deceased Vombach Industries technician. I fear the worst. We may have lost everyone. This is the head of the security team. If he didn't make it, then what hope does Mr. Vombach have? My DNA scan says this is not Mr. Vombach, but VBI employee number 130. That's not good. She was extremely important to this expedition. Whether Mr. Von Bach is alive or dead, he doesn't appear to be near the crash site. I think we're going to need some assistance in finding him. I'm receiving an SOS from Captain Red the now. Enemy. I'll patch it through. Repeat. All unarmed and injured survivors, get to cover and stay safe. We will find you. All combat capable survivors. Report to the HQ at the new Freedom Rally Point. ASAP. Hey, Ark Hunter. Did you get that E-Rep message? Meet me at the Rally Point. I want to know why E-Rep's here. Let's find the man in charge.
Repeat. The new freedom has gone down. Heavy casualties suffered. Does anyone copy? Captain Grant, sir. The terraforming interference Keep is... trying, Corporal. You keep talking to that thing until your voice gives out. Do you understand? Sir. I recognize you. You're one of Von Bach's archives. But who are you? And what are you doing in my base of operations? Name's Cass. I'm... Wait. Did you just say Von Bach? As in Von Bach Industries? The dude they call Death's Merchant? What exactly is going on That's here? It's none of your concern, Nick. Sir. We have at least 200 confirmed dead, and nearly twice that injured. With no chance of evac, we don't have nearly enough medical personnel or supplies, sir. Recon spotted a rundown medical center nearby. Send one of your men to shake it down for supplies. Yes, sir. Sir, hostiles on the ridge are sniping the rescue team. Unless they can get into the strato in the next 35 minutes. Sir, survivors on decks four through seven will likely burn alive. That will not happen, Sergeant. Pull everyone back, but you tell those men trapped on the strato that we will get them out. Yes, sir. Hey, Eisenhower. Those snipers used to be EMC. Just a bunch of bloodthirsty mutants now. You're telling me that those things are Earth Military Coalition soldiers? Yep. Apparently they didn't get the memo when that gig fell apart all those years ago. They think you're invading. How do you know all this? There's a lot of old EMC junk around here. The least of which is Project... Yeah. Project Tranquility. I know all about it. Humans and Votans living in perfect harmony. What a bunch of stuff. Tranquility wasn't a combat operation. The mutants wouldn't have access to firepower capable of taking down a strato carrier. Nope. You're on your own with that mystery. You. Listen. No matter how much it pisses me off, protecting your arrogant boss is critical to this mission. If you help me bring some sanity to this mess, we can work together to find it. All right, then. I need to get my rescue team into New Freedom immediately, so take care of those snipers. Where do you think you're going, Miss? You're gonna tell me everything you know about this restricted area that you've been wandering around illegally. Scrubbing.